On May 21st, a Singapore Airlines flight from London to Singapore experienced severe turbulence over the Indian Ocean, resulting in the death of a 73-year-old British national and injuring several others. The Boeing 777 had 211 passengers and 18 crew members on board when the incident occurred. So in this case, most likely uh, it is a thunderstorm which was uh, in the flight path of the aircraft, uh, which apparently the crew did not detect or the instruments, the weather radar on board did not detect. So the crew did not uh, take evasive action. If we look at the traffic around that region, about the same time, there was an Indigo aircraft seven minutes behind uh, 320. And uh, Singapore Airlines from Paris to Singapore, the same Boeing 777, about 15 minutes behind. Both of them deviated to the north, uh, apparently, to avoid this particular thunderstorm. But this uh, uh, unfortunate uh, Singapore aircraft went straight. And uh, there could be a number of reasons. Either the pilots were fatigued, it was a long flight from London uh, to Singapore, and they were towards uh, near the end. Uh, other could be the weather radar. This is a 16-year-old aircraft, and uh, they don't have the modern weather radars, which can detect clouds uh, below the flight path. Because even if a cloud is below your flight path, it has the capability of uh, throwing the aircraft up in the air because the air in the cloud is at a very high uh, uh, rate descending up and down. So the air moves up and down. So as the aircraft encountered this cloud, suddenly you would see the aircraft went up, then down. So uh, it is uh, most likely a weather-related uh, we'll call it an accident because, unfortunately, one person died. Tracking data captured by Flight Radar 24, a live flight tracker, revealed that Flight SQ321 was flying at an altitude of 37,000 feet at the time of the incident. It sharply descended to 31,000 feet, a drop of 6,000 feet over a period of three minutes, and remained at that altitude for just under 10 minutes. The drop occurred while the flight was over the Andaman Sea, near Myanmar. The clouds build very rapidly. Within a matter of minutes, the clouds will rise to 30,000 feet, as it happens in India also, around uh, Jamshedpur region. And uh, about two years back, uh, there was a spice jet uh, aircraft which encountered turbulence and one person died. So that was an accident. When, again, due to uh, a faulty weather radar, the pilots could not detect the weather. So they flew inside the thunderstorm and uh, the whole aircraft was uh, wrecked. So similarly here, uh, thunderstorms are there around the world. So it is on the, the crew and the training and the upkeep of the aircraft to the modern fittings, uh, which can prevent uh, such accidents. Some countries maintain data on turbulence-related incidents involving flights from their airlines. According to the National Transportation Safety Board, the United States experienced more than one-third of all airline turbulence incidents from 2009 through 2018, resulting in one or more serious injuries without causing any damage to the planes. Between 2009 and 2022, 163 people were seriously injured and required at least two days of hospital treatment, according to the figures.